Hi everyone, my name is Rachel, and that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and welcome to my channel. I am a writer and a reader, and today I am doing my author newbie tag. That was the goal I had set for myself this year, is once I graduated, I would then jump into doing content for AuthorTube, and so I'm very excited to be here. And I have written, if you see me look down, I have written my author newbie questions down on a piece of paper since I use my computer to film. Question number one, how did you find out about AuthorTube? I found out about AuthorTube pretty soon after I found out about BookTube. For many years, I had the misconception that YouTube was for music videos and news sites, and I didn't realize how much it was used by people like you and me. Until December 2019, I was looking for a good readathon, a uh, science fiction based, because I wanted to really get into some stories, but I didn't want to read alone. I wanted to be part of a community. And doing a web search, I had found some blog sites that mentioned some readathons done by some people on YouTube, and that led me to BookTube. So after I was perusing BookTube for a while, the first AuthorTube channel that I came across was actually Kate Cavanaugh. And after that, I found Jessica Williamson and it started to snowball. And I've been slowly picking up more AuthorTube people. I find that I really enjoy the content creators who do both AuthorTube and BookTube. And so that is my plan going forward. Question number two, what genres do you write in? I write primarily fantasy and science fiction. I like reading science fiction more than fantasy. I, don't get me wrong, I like them both. But when I'm writing science fiction, I have a greater need to know how everything works and lines up, even if that's not explained in the book. And with fantasy, I don't have that derive as much. So I end up writing more fantasy because I am not good at math or science. So question number three, what is your preferred point of view? Writing tense or category of story. I don't have a preferred point of view or writing tense. I find that that comes out naturally as I am writing my characters, and I have written in several different points of view and several different writing tenses because of that fact, but I let the voice of the character dictate what that is for me. I don't try to force it anymore. I had in the past, and then the story just, it felt like I was walking it's like walking against a very strong wind when really you could turn around and you could have help you could have the wind help push you as you walk and that would be more efficient. And so I've just learned over time and as I practiced writing to let the character voice dictate what the point of view is and what the writing tense is. For category of story I tend to gravitate towards adult, new adult, and young adult. In that order, normally. Question number four. Are you a plotter, a pantser, or a planter? And I am a planter. So I start off as a pantser. Usually a character or a world building idea will catch my attention and then I just kind of start brainstorm writing about it. And after that, as things develop, I will go further and I will begin to plan, well, how does this affect this? Or what's the relationship of this character to other characters? And that's where I turn more into, a, you know, a plotter. But I still don't plot that much, at least not during my zero draft. I, when I go through my first draft, that's really where I start going through and putting, doing more of a plot or an outline to make sure everything is making sense and in logical order. For my zero draft, I actually write out of order a lot of the time. And so the first step for my first draft is to put it in order. And that's why I have to make sure, go through and make sure everything makes sense. Cause sometimes I have references to things that have already happened and it's like, it's a new thing. I don't know. Yes, I know it, it probably sounds like I'm adding way more steps than I need to, but that is the writing process that I have currently. Number five, are you self-published, traditionally published, or yet to be published? And I am yet to be published. And so that kind of goes with question number six. 
what publishing company, liter- literary agent, or printing company are you interested in? And I have not gotten that far. I've looked at agents and I know I have like a list of potentials that I'm interested in, but none that I'm just a burning desire. You know, partly because I listen to enough podcasts and videos talking about you need to have a good working relationship with your agent and so you shouldn't be married to the idea that only one can help you and that's why when you're querying and agents are interested you're supposed to have conversations with them to find out their work style versus like how that will work with your work style to to see how this relationship will go forward so I purposefully have not chosen any favorites Question number seven, what author tube related content can you expect on my channel? Well, to start off, I am probably going to be doing a lot of different writing tags just so you get to know me a little bit better and also because they're fun to do. I hope to start doing a vlog series bringing you through my writing process. I am currently first drafting my last NaNoWriMo story. I have put it all in order and I'm now going through and reading it to make sure that it makes sense. After that, I will print it out and I will start highlighting things and adding comments of need more description here because I'm a heavy dialogue-based writer at first and going through that process. And I'd like to share that with you. I also have a series of videos that I would like to do that I've tentatively called World Building Wormhole because I know if I start daydreaming and thinking about world building versus my story at hand. I could sometimes go for hours or days down that long path. And so I think it would be fun to do a series of videos talking about different elements in world building. And I haven't seen a lot of other YouTubers do this. Now, I'm obviously not caught up to date on every person who does author two videos or creator videos. So this could be something that somebody is already doing. As far as I know at this moment, this is an original idea though. But if you watch this and you're like, oh, that sounds like fun, do it. I'm not at all restrictive. I Something I really like about the YouTube environment is it's very much about sharing. You like this idea, you wanna do it yourself, then do so. I think that's awesome. And for that reason, I tag all my videos under a Creative Commons share like tag. So if you like the idea and it turns out I am the original creator of world building wormholes, all I ask is that you just attribute it to me. Number eight, when did you start writing? That is an interesting question. I have been making up stories since I was extremely little. Sorry about the angle change if there is one. I, (laughs) the story I wanted to tell, I was wondering, do I still have the evidence of it? And I don't. Uh, For a long time in my baby memory box, I had a piece of drywall where I had drawn an object and I told my mom that it was a pig and told her a story about it. I was three at the time and they were drywalling their house. So they, my mom just took that piece of drywall and then kept it because she thought it was cute. I have found throughout my life that I cannot stop writing. Sure, I can do it for a couple days, but eventually I will start writing. And if I don't set time for me to take care of that creative writing itch, I will start, I will start writing during work or during any other function where I probably should not be writing. So yeah, I was a young kid when I started writing. Number nine, what was the first story you ever wrote? And the first story that I remember writing from beginning to end was a short story. I was probably eight or nine. I was sitting in church and I wrote a story about a child who shared their red wagon with some neighborhood friends especially with a young um, with a young person in the neighborhood who was being bullied. And so my story was about, let's not bully people, let's bring people together because we don't want them to feel like nobody loves them. 
So number 10, which authors have inspired your writing the most? This is a hard question. Since I let my characters choose my writing style, I don't try to write a certain way. I read from a variety of authors who write in different styles and different tenses. What I have found is I have to do my own writing first before I can read. If I try to write fiction after reading fiction, unconsciously, I try to write in the vein of the story I've just read. I know when I travel and I'm around other English speakers who have accents without Again, unconsciously, my accent will shift to try to be closer to their accent. As a, as a kid, my family would call me out on it because they thought I was making fun of people with accents, and I wasn't, I wasn't even aware that I was doing it. And so that's why I think also with the writing style of the fiction I read, it comes out if I try to write my own fiction afterwards. Number 11, do you schedule your own writing sessions or do you write whenever? I am a morning person, and so I find that my attention is best if I write in the morning. And so at this point of time, as part of my Monday through Friday schedule, I am trying to make sure I write in the morning, at least 10 minutes. I'm using the Ninja Writers model this year and because I was feeling overwhelmed with writing and scheduling writing. And so I'm like, you know, if I write for at least 10 minutes and then I get a sticker. And this is like my sticker book. So it's just little stuff. The coloring is if I read for 10 minutes. So this is only my, I am in my second month of doing this. So I feel pretty happy with how it's going so far. And it's nice to, if I'm not in the best headspace in the morning, I'm 10 minutes. That's not a lot of time. And sometimes I will have engaged with what I am doing. And after 10 minutes, I want to keep going, which is fine. Um, I actually do block out an hour's worth of time in order to do writing. But if I only do 10 minutes and then I afterwards I decide I want to watch YouTube videos or I want to work on my cross stitch or I want to edit a YouTube video or my husband decides that he wants to talk to me, I can be flexible. And I don't feel guilty about being flexible. So, so however, if later in the day a story idea comes to me, I will start writing it down. And how the system works kind of goes into the next question. So the next question, number 12, do you type on a computer, typewriter, or write everything out by hand, or use a blend of those, and where do you write in general? So I definitely use a blend, not a typewriter, but a computer or I write by hand. When I do my 10 minutes in the morning, I typically am using my computer, but if I'm writing later in the day, I can just as much be writing by hand. And in fact, this is my pile of things that have been written by hand that I still need to enter. It's not all on the story that I'm writing right now, but it is stuff that I have written by hand and need to type up into different documents. And so last question, question 13, what am I looking forward to most now that I'm part of AuthorTube? And honestly, I am looking forward to the community. For this past year, the author tubers that I have been watching and commenting on have just been really wonderful, warm, open people. And I would like to get to know them better, but I'd also like to get to know more author tubers who are starting off or in the same process of where I am. I'd like to be able to make friends with people so another one of my year goals is to not only start doing my own AuthorTube content, but to join in with other people's AuthorTube content. I know there's many people out there who do writing sprints. I'd like to join in on those more and just get to know this community. The nice thing about writers is it doesn't matter what you write. If you're a writer, in my book, you're awesome. 
Thank you for watching my author newbie video. And if you like books, go ahead and check out my booktube content as well. Like I said, I am going to be doing both. Now, if you would like to see more of my author tube content, please click the subscribe button. And if I were you, I'd go ahead and click the bell button so you'll be notified when I put up a video because at this time I don't have a solid, consistent uploading schedule. Now that I've graduated, I am putting out more videos a week, which is great, but I haven't yet nailed down which days firmly I'd like to have the videos out on. So clicking the bell would help to make sure that you get notified. Thank you and have a good day.